All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're going to look at one of these tier lists over on the Dokkan subreddit, this time done by Prism Azure. Uh, I know one of the uh, numbers guys, I believe, on the Dokkan subreddit. Now, I did have this tweeted to me. I, I only got an initial glance at it. There was one big thing I disagreed with, but I didn't look into it uh, too in-depth. So, you know, big shout-out to Prism Azure uh, and the Dokkan subreddit, and let's jump in and see... Uh, what the tier list for the Youth and Dragon Ball Saga team looks like, uh, especially because, you know, that just came out on Global. So, uh, we have the whole tier list here. Uh, I think, okay, hold on. So, he also wrote down some pros and cons. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, okay. Let me, let me, let, let's take a look at all this. Okay, so, uh, Goku's at last here is a Dokkan Festival exclusive, leader of both Youth and Dragon Ball Saga categories. Uh, complete kit, ever-increasing offensive and defensive prowess on top of key self-sufficiency. Yep, all true. Very, very good unit. Uh, capable of stunning. Yep, active skill allows him to cause a large amount of damage to a single foe, which is guaranteed to be uh, a crit, basically. Uh, one thing, I, I mention it constantly, so y'all will already all know this, but uh, when Kid Goku gets that active skill, uh, all attacks on that turn are crit, so that's a really big deal. Uh, strengths, let's see. Solid attack and defense right away, yep. Gets more powerful as the fight goes on. Yep. Main leader of two categories and is in seven categories himself. Now, I, his team is not the greatest. I'll just go ahead and say that. But the fact that the man is on freaking seven categories, dude, that is really good. Yeah. So you'll be able to get a lot of use out of him. Uh, gains a guaranteed crit on both his attacks and active skill for one turn when the conditions are met. Yep, yep, yep. Amazing synergy and linking in his own team. That is true. Uh, Super Attack has a 25% Sun Chance, which, again, could be pretty good on Super Battle Road. Uh, let's see the faults. Niche Link Set caused him to have a lot of linking issues outside of his own team. Yep, 100%. Absolutely. Uh, his attack, defense, and key buildup is slow outside of Goku's Legendary Battle. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, if we're talking uh, a normal Dokkan event, yes. But you guys know I prioritize a lot more towards the difficult events. So Goku's Legendary Fight, uh, Easy A, Super Battle Road, Battlefield. You know, Easy A, Super Battle Road, Battlefield. You're not going to get Goku like a lot of stacks for his attack and defense. So yes, I do agree with that. Uh, active skill condition is very hard to meet, especially at the rainbow level. Now, see, here's, yeah, if we're talking about a Dokkan event, but every other place in the game, it's not that bad. Because here's the thing, right? Whereas the LR family Kamehameha, for example, they have to be below 59% HP. There has to be three turns or later into the fight, and there has to be only one enemy to fight, right? Uh, Kid Goku doesn't have all that. It's just, it's just under 59% HP. So many times, I've taken this guy in a Super Battle World constantly turn one we get smacked turn two he shows up active skill and he's blowing away half of the enemy team like that's just how that works so i do kind of disagree with that i mean unless we're talking about a dokkan event but like who cares like, again dokkan events are the worst way of evaluating units i think because anything can beat dokkan events that's not really that big of a deal uh loses offensive power as you lose your hp trading it for more defensive power that's true, but I, I don't consider that really a fault. Again, this is more of the mindset of, you know, Dokkan events and how good units are there, which I don't really care about for the most part, right? I also am curious to see this. So, uh, two categories allows for a variety of choices in team building. While this is technically true, if we go take a look at the Dragon Ball Saga, it's not the biggest. And a lot of these units overlap with the youth, so youth category anyway. Goku and Arale, all the Arale cards and Bulma, like all these cards pretty much, like pretty much a lot of them are overlapped in the youth category anyway. So, you know, I, yeah, it, if they continue to support, you know, the early Dragon Ball Saga, yes. But I mean, as of right now, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, okay, oh yeah, back over here. Um, okay, so has sufficient offensive power on top of great defensive options? Yeah. Great defensive options. Mm. I mean, LRB Pan is pretty good here. Let me take a quick look at... I mean, Goku and Arale, they kind of can get hit pretty hard. Like, if you're not... If they're not able to attack before they get hit, or they're not in the first slot, they can get hit pretty hard. They're, they're, they don't tank as well as you'd like. Um, Roshi's a solid tank. Yeah, there's not actually that many good tanks here just off the top of my head that i can remember no 
I mean, this attack Bulma is okay sometimes. It depends on if you get her damage reduction active. This is more of a an offensive team, I would say. Because, like, look at two of their big LRs, right? LR Gohan and uh, Trunks and Goten are primarily offensive-based LRs, right? They don't have a lot of defense there. Uh, let's see. Uh, capable of clearing Super Battle Road and Goku's Legendary Battle. Uh, I would... Pres yes, I, I, w I would assume that both of those are correct. Uh, I have actually not done the Goku's Legendary Battle yet with this team. This is one of the few teams I have not... I, look, I don't even think I've attempted it with this team. Like, I, I did a short segment for uh, a Masaroshi video, but, like, I haven't even really given it a try yet. So, uh, I, I do think this team could beat it, though, because, again, if we go over here, you know, you do Kid Goku, I bring Chunks and Goten for the uh, SCR UI Goku stage, I, I would consider bringing Tech Gotenks. That might seem crazy. Eh, his defense probably isn't good enough. We'd probably bring EZA Goten. Uh, we'd definitely bring LRB Pan, I would think. It's, it's tough. It's tough. It's, it's definitely, a, definitely a tough one. Uh, but I, I do think it could win. You might need a little bit of luck, but, you know, I, this is probably easier than the Artificial Life Form team because, you know, Kid Goku is just so strong. Definitely would bring LR Kid Goku into Raleigh as well. Uh, that we, that, we wouldn't have a lot of trouble with the SCR UI Goku Sage with them plus Trunks and Goten. Interesting that Bra is on main rotation. Okay, I guess I guess that does make sense. Well, yeah, that, that would help out Kid Goku a lot. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, very free-to-play friendly, as many of the best units are entirely free or easy to get, except the leader. Yes, 100%. Yep, yep, absolutely. Uh, while there are a lot of options to choose from, many are average or mediocre units. I absolutely agree. You know, initially, like, thinking, oh, yeah, the youth category is going to be so incredible. But, like, it's just a lot of the units are old, man. Like, you know, like, EZA Gohan, great, but... You know, he, he's not like a Dokkan Fest exclusive level character. You know, physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is awesome, but he's got no defense. He's a glass cannon. So, you know, that hurts. Uh, we definitely need... Wh what it is, is we need a stronger Gotenks. We, we need a, a bunch of stronger Gotenks cards. We need a better Super Saiyan Gotenks, base form Gotenks. And I'm waiting for that physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks easy at the very least. Uh, all of those. And plus, definitely... We, uh, we've talked about it a million times. It's at what everyone wants. A Super Saiyan Gohan that uh, transforms into Super Saiyan 2, Dokkan Fest. That would massively buff this team. It would help out a lot. I absolutely agree with this. That's definitely true. Uh, key issues outside of the best lineup, as many units in this category lack universal links, including the leader. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Like, if, if you're running a lot of, like, uh, you know, Roshi, King Piccolo, units like that, a lot of them are going to share the Incredible Adventure. But, you know, then once you start sliding in, like, some of the Gotenks cards and stuff like that, you're going to run into some issues. So that's definitely true. Uh, their offensive power, while good, doesn't compare to the top teams. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's absolutely correct. Uh, and the youth category only gets 150% attack, HP, and defense from Kid Goku's leader skill. I mean, I, I guess I would agree that's a con in that it's not like this cat... Like, the youth category is not OP to the point where it can't be 170, right? I honestly think... This team, Goku could have given 170% to both of them. Uh, that that does not that does not break anything. It's not like then this team rises to a top five team or anything like that. I, I still, the more time goes on, the more I'm actually pushing this team way down in my rankings of best teams in the game and stuff like that, right? Because like, you know, we're getting really powerful options for a lot of other teams except for this one. I mean, what we haven't really gotten a ton of new cards for this team recently, have we? Like, yeah, we got, you know, this guy, LR Kagoku Narale, Roshi, Demon King Piccolo when they first came out, but like, it needs more. Th this team definitely needs some work done on it, so, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, I did, I like that, all the pros and cons. Very good job by Prism Azure. That, that was a good read. I actually did really like that. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the tier list itself. Now, the thing that I was talking about, I actually was talking about this with Goresh. This exploded off the page to me. There is no way I'm putting Super Saiyan Gotenks in Z tier. He has aged quite a bit. Uh, his defense, he gets crunched. Now, yes, he can seal good for Super Battle Road and occasionally for uh, Dokkan Battlefield as well, but... No way do I consider this guy a Z tier option. I, no way do I consider him above Demon King Piccolo uh, or Master Roshi or LR. Dude, LR Yamcha, for Christ's sake. LR Yamcha is good. 
The, he, he is good, and he fits really well on this team. Again, you know, he's a meme, so, like, people are, are going to kind of overlook him, but I've been spouting that this guy is actually low-key a beast. He's strong, uh, especially on this team, because, you know, it's pretty easy to get Incredible Adventure and Shattering the Limit, so, boom, you're actually able to activate his key links, because many units you're probably going to be using are going to have Shattering the Limit. Like, let me think about the Legendary Goku event team I'm going to run. Uh, you know, LR could Goku and Raleigh, LR go Ten and Trunks. They're going to be on there. They're going to have Shattering the Limit, so... I, you know, I definitely will put Yamcha uh, above that Gotenks. Let me look at the bottom. Let me just see if anything jumps off. I mean, yeah, I don't even really need to go through these units at all. These are all mostly just fodder units. Man, I see these Arale units. I actually don't have the Arale units, man. I feel like... I actually don't... Like, off the top of my head, I don't even really know what they do, too. Like, most units in the game, like, I've got a gist of what they do. Like, I, maybe I don't know the exact details or exact links, but I've got a general idea of what, like, pretty much, you know, I would say 80% of the units in the game do. But, like, the Arala units, because they've only been pack... I mean, on JP, they've been on two banners. On Global, they've been on one. So, I don't really know too much what they do. Uh, I, I they You probably could move some of them up, but, like, it's irrelevant because 95% of people don't have these guys. So, like, who cares anyway, right? Uh, looking at the B tier, nothing really blowing away. I mean, De this Demon King Piccolo is pretty solid, but... He only buffs extreme types, so that's not going to help you on a predominantly hero team here, right? Uh, I mean, maybe if we get like a... I don't know if Mercenary Tau... Could he be a Dokkan Fest exclusive or an LR? I don't know. I mean, if they're going to make Demon King Piccolo just a TUR, then Mercenary Tau certainly can't be. I mean, Demon King Piccolo deserves either a Dokkan Fest exclusive or an LR, though. That's that's for sure. I think a, an, a summonable LR for Demon King Piccolo would work really well to oppose the Dokkan Fest Kid Goku, right? I actually feel like they probably should have done that when this category came out. I think that would have been sick. Although, you know, they gave us a TUR instead. Uh, yeah, rest of these units. Again, nothing too crazy here. Nothing exploding off the page. Uh, a bunch of these Super Saiyan Gotenks cards who are, they're okay. The new Android 8 is pretty solid. Some of the Arales are in here. I mean, maybe you can move this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan up. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I feel like B-Pan could probably go up as well. Maybe this Tech Bulma. But again, at this point, it's pretty irrelevant. Uh, all right, moving up to the S tier. Uh, yeah, I agree with all these. Yeah, this Tech Gohan is very good. Uh, but you got to have strong Tech units. I mean, besides Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks uh, and I guess Roshi, but he only, he only has the one attack. So yeah, that would keep him down here a little bit. Uh, base from Gotenks, these guys, nothing really too crazy. This pan is really, really good, but, you know, she's, like, entirely defense. And, you know, so I'm fine with her in S. Uh, yeah, these guys are fine. Uh, this Chi-Chi. Now, this Chi-Chi is interesting. I was actually thinking about rainbowing this Chi-Chi. Uh, because she, I think, could probably hit pretty hard with that 180% attack buff on Super. Uh, it, it'll be a little bit hard to set up for her, though, because of the way, like, you know, she lowers her attack after receiving an attack. She also has a medium chance of stunning. I, yeah, I probably will rainbow this Chi-Chi card, uh, and test this out. Oh, okay, not a big deal, but this probably should say 2019, right? Uh, okay, yeah. I, hmm. I mean, Chi-Chi doesn't have any defense, though. Yeah, so I feel like she's in a good spot. If she had any defense at all... Bump her up. Oh, well, she hasn't awakened yet. So, once she awakens, she'll probably have defense. That'll be good. Uh, yeah, this... Okay, so this Great Ape Kid Goku... I, for a moment, I believe he had the most categories in the game. Does he still? I, I think he might. Hold on. Let, let's double check him. So, he's on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I believe this Kid Goku is the unit with the most categories in the game. So, I, I mean... I say, I'll say, you know, players, feel free to rainbow this guy because you'll certainly be able to get your use out of him on 500 different teams, right? Uh, he's okay, not the greatest, but he does link up incredibly well with the rest of the team, which I'm sure is his placement in S+. Now, Roshi. I would put Roshi in Z tier myself. Um, but remember, you know, I, I, I suspect Prism Azure might be, like, leaning this a lot more towards, like, offensive ability for Dokkan events because... That's what I've noticed a lot of people on the subreddit do, right? I I, I'm, I don't mean to uh, put words in his mouth or anything like that, but that's just that's just what I'm assuming, be right? Because, like, this Roshi is quite a good defensive unit. Like, you know, for the first time he supers, he'll have zero defense. But after that, he's got that 150% defensive buff, and he's going to work very, very well. Uh, I've given mine 15 dodge, and that's helped complement him quite a bit. 
because additionals and crits don't really help him out too much. You know, he already seals, and on his big attack, it's already a 100% chance to crit anyway. And because he stuns himself, he can't super twice on the big attack, so additionals are pointless. So I would recommend 15 dodge for this Roshi. Uh, but uh, all the stuff he's able to do, I definitely believe he deserves to be Z tier for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Goku Jr., Vegeta Jr., that's prob... I mean, they're... Dude... They're better than Super Saiyan Gotenks, though. I, hold on, let, let me let me double check this. I, I'm quite certain these two are are better than Super Saiyan Gotenks. Okay, so Vegeta Junior, yeah, attack and defense sixty percent at the start of turn. Then he gets extra key, extra attack. Yeah, I, I'm def I'm running this guy over Super Saiyan Gotenks every day of the week. Uh, and then also Goku Junior. Uh, okay, so his. I think Vegeta Jr. is a little better because his defense is guaranteed. Goku Jr. does have a great chance. What is it? Seventy percent? Does it say down here? Uh, seventy percent. Yeah. So and that's pretty good. Like you're gonna get that most of, most of the time. I mean, I found with Super Saiyan Four Gogeta, uh, I do get his uh counter nearly every time, and that's seventy percent as well. So yeah, I would consider both Goku Junior and Vegeta Junior better than Gotenks. So basically, I would actually put them in Z tier. I would. I. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe just drop Gotenks down. Put Roshi. I would put Roshi, Yamcha, honestly, LRB Pan, and Demon King Piccolo up there. I would bring Gotenks down. I don't really have an issue with the rest of the units up here. Let me take a look at Arale, physical Arale. Uh, this is uh, this is probably the biggest unit in the game that I do not have. I actually don't have physical Arale. 120% when performing a super attack, very, very good damage. She's just an overall strong unit. And, you know, finally she's on a couple of category teams now with uh, LR Super Baby 2 as well as Dokkan Feske Goku. Um, I mean, she could hit very hard, but again, her non her lack of defense is going to be iffy. I, she's going to hit way harder than that Super Saiyan Gotenks, though, so I guess I'm I'm okay with her there. Uh, but the, not, the no defense does hurt. Uh, I think Pan... Kami are good in S tier. Again, LR Yamcha goes up. He's good. He is good. He is definitely good. Uh, B Pan, uh, Z or S plus. I probably would put B Pan and Z myself. You know, stunning, uh, healing, early supers, you know, the active skill. She just does a lot. But I don't know. I, if, if you're going to say S plus, I'm not really too upset about that. Uh, I probably definitely will put Demon King Piccolo up here as well. Uh, Demon King Piccolo, I mean, you just look at him. He greatly lowers attack. Do not sleep on that effect ever. Uh, he gives himself 100% defense at the start of turn. Beautiful. Then 3 key and 200% attack for 5 turns from the start of turn. But then after that, it drops down to 2 key and 120% attack. So he's still good. Uh, this guy is a very strong unit. Uh, I would say the best unit on the Namekian category in the game. That just goes to show you why the Namekian category is the worst category in the game, by the way. That this guy is the best unit on the category. Because he's this guy is really good. But, you know, he's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive or anything like that. Um... Okay, and the rest of this is all pretty self-explanatory, right? I don't need to go into Goku, Gohan. Goku and Arale are very good. Uh, Goten and Trunks. I actually, I would almost argue Goten and Trunks are a little bit underrated. People think they're worse than they actually are. And the reason is because they've pretty much never had, like, a decent category team, right? They've always been stuck on these 130% uh, teams. Uh, Boo, Hybrid Saiyan, you know, World Tournament, not crazy. Join Forces is maybe the best team in the game, but that's also 130%. Uh, once Boo Saga or Hybrid Saiyans gets a proper lead, this unit could become very impressive. Uh, and don't forget that um, on their 18 key super, they raise their defense too. So, I mean, they're, they are they have the exact same effect that LR Trunks does. Uh, physical LR Trunks raising defense on super attack. And everyone sucks LR Trunks' dick nonstop. So, I mean, <laughs> Goten and Trunks, uh, you know, they're good too. Let's, let's not forget that. Uh, and then let's see. Yeah, the, the rest of this is good. I would say this is a good tier list. Uh, th this is definitely a good one. I don't really have issues with a lot of this. It, it's just some of the, the S plus tier, I, I think more highly of some of these units, right? Again, Yamcha, Demon King Piccolo, Roshi, B-Pan, and then drop Super Saiyan Gotenks down. I'm not a fan of Super Saiyan Gotenks. Ceiling is helpful, but he needs more. Uh, a, Super, a Super Saiyan Gotenks Dokkan Fest that maybe transforms into Super Saiyan 3, I think would be really nice. And then that would uh, like keep Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks relevant. That would be a really good idea. I would be super hyped for that one. So let me know what you guys think of everything. Uh, thanks for watching. 
And I'll catch you all next time. Oh, good luck if you do summon on this banner. But I, again, for the 500th time, I would not. <laughs> Definitely skip this one.